Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. An update first on some of the earthquakes that we've had around over the last several days. And I'll get into a big front, actually two of them, moving across the United States. And one of them will dive down into the Caribbean. We'll track that together. But we have an earthquake cluster that's been ongoing near Puerto Rico and the British and even U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, nothing uh, too significant. We did have one just to the north of uh, Puerto Rico. This one here, over four in magnitude. That's an earthquake cluster. Sometimes that can last a week or two. So watching this spot right in here, there was also a minor quake south side of the Dominican uh, Republic uh, a few days ago. So watching this area here, then we swing back to the uh, west, we have that quake here earlier. This one was very early Monday morning or Sunday night, if you will, in Cuba, eastern end of Cuba, southeast Cuba, magnitude 5.9 to about 6.1. That was a significant quake felt all the way up to the Bahamas, all the way down to Jamaica. I've been monitoring their aftershocks. There haven't been too many. That's been good. And there was another quake in northern Venezuela on uh, Christmas Eve, uh, over five in magnitude. So again, watching everything, I wanted to give you an update uh, in regards to that. Now, the one in Cuba was felt because it would, not only was it a significant quake, but it was on the shallow side. Shallow, uh, shallow earthquake is defined by uh, a depth of about zero to 70 kilometers uh, down or about 40 miles down, and that was uh, right into that sector. Of course, the sh more shallow they are uh, and uh, the stronger they are, better chance we do fe uh, feel them. So I'll be watching that. Now let's get to what's going on here. We have that surge of moisture building near Jamaica, Cayman Islands still, the unsettled weather right near Cuba, now trying to lift into the Bahamas. And there's another system that's diving into the eastern portions of Texas, Louisiana, back toward southern Arkansas. That is going to help to lift the moisture up toward the Bahamas. With that said, this area right in here, uh, we could be dealing with severe weather, especially later today and tonight. Tornadoes possible and some strong gusty winds, hail possibility uh, as well. Parts of Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana. With that area up there, that is drawing that moisture uh, up toward the northeast. So you can see that flow right here, that surge of moisture across Central America, lifting up toward parts of the Cayman Islands, parts of Jamaica into Cuba. So let's start here, then I'll expand out to the severe weather to the north, and I want to look ahead to that bigger front in just a moment. But here's some of that rain that's around Cuba, back through the Cayman Islands, on the edge of Jamaica for today. Still unsettled Costa Rica and Panama. And then with that front to the north, that storm system to the north, that rain will lift up toward the Florida Keys and the northern Bahamas. Eastern Caribbean, we're dealing with the dust. I'll get into that in a moment. And then by the time we get into Saturday, more of that rain kind of lifting up to the north. Spotty showers on Saturday, still a little bit more Panama back toward Costa Rica as we get into early in the week. I want to touch on some of the dust. Here we are in the Caribbean. Here's a Trinidad, for example. Uh, Guyana here. We get over toward Barbados, St. Lucia, uh, just to kind of orient you and this yellow shading in here is some of that dust. This up here is actually dry air, but this right in here is some of that Saharan dust. Now, uh, once we get into later this week, this weekend into next week, this dust will mainly be over the open waters of the Atlantic. So we are about to get some improvements, but we still may have some of the dust around. Let me know island by island in the comments what you have or don't have with the dust. I'll be watching that. Now, I mentioned this system here building, right? Near Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas. There's that severe weather threat later today and tonight right there. But with this area moving here and then shifting off to the east, it grabs that moisture, that rain near Central America, lifts it up toward the Cayman Islands, Cuba, and then eventually into the Bahamas. It's amazing how the weather on such a big scale is all tied together. So that system kind of works its way off. This is a couple that let's look out in time. This is by the time we get into Saturday. We have a couple of these fronts moving through the United States by Saturday. Spotty showers for us in the Caribbean, not as significant. Then as we work our way into Sunday, another system coming out of Quebec, working its way over toward the Atlantic region of Canada. This front though doesn't get too far down to the south. But as we go out in time further, you you could see this and this is what we've been hinting at together for the last uh, several days once we get into this is january 2nd so on thursday so we're looking a week from now pretty significant uh, southern system rolling by and some of that snow could get pretty far to the south as well in parts of the u.s 
but this one will dive a little bit more to the south. So a lot of weather southeast U.S., but then this one's more of a southern uh, system, southern track. And you can see as we go out in time further here, this is by January 3rd. That front stretches back through the northern Bahamas, Cuba, near the Cayman Islands, right back uh, toward uh, the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, and Belize. And we'll see a shot of some cooler weather and some of those Christmas breezes working in at least for our northern zones once we get into about a week or a week and a half from now. Pretty significant front. We'll be tracking that further as we go ahead. Now in the short term, we've been watching this spin uh, to the south of uh, Newfoundland. It will finally start to work away as we go throughout the day. Atlantic region of Canada, just keeping an eye on these areas moving uh, from the uh, west uh, to the east. There's that severe weather uh, area that will be working its way through today, tonight. And then all of this gets tied into a front, kind of in between systems on Saturday as we work our way back toward New Brunswick, uh, Newfoundland, back through uh, Prince Edward Island and Nova Scotia. Now, a bit of a chop in the water. The Atlantic waters, that's what we're going to be watching, though, as we get these systems off uh, toward uh, the uh, western Atlantic. Those swells are going to be building in. So heads up here, looking ahead. This is by Saturday. Atlantic passages, Atlantic waters. So you can see how those seas are going to be building to at least a couple meters, seven, eight feet in some spots as we work our way through the upcoming weekend forecast. Now, as far as the rain goes, that surge of moisture lifting to the north, some spots in Cuba. Back near the Cayman Islands, we could get a few spots around three inches of rain or 75 millimeters of rain. Highest rain totals will be just to the west of us in Jamaica. We'll still get some scattered showers around. If you get one, 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain possible. Haiti and the Dominican Republic, also some scattered showers. Been watching the northern coast of the uh, DR where we We've had some flooding over the last really couple weeks. Still some rain, a possibility. And then as we work our way from Puerto Rico around the Horn, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, back through St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, Grenada, the rain chance not as high. Uh, Dominica, Martinique, if we get a shower, we're talking maybe a quarter of an inch of rain, maybe five, 10 millimeters of rain, that dust is in place for about another day or so. And that's also with some dry air, helping to limit that rain chance. And that includes parts of Venezuela, Guyana, and Suriname. But watching parts of Costa Rica, Panama, uh, for that uh, chance of some isolated areas of flooding scattered about from Honduras back through Belize, and we're mainly dry as we work our way into Mexico City. So for us in Jamaica today, we're looking at about a 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers. Some of us dry, others seeing some of the showers. Same thing in the Cayman Islands, just watching that surge of moisture isolated flooding will be possible. I'll be watching your comments through the day, but we get back through Trinidad and Tobago. The rain chance is low. It's pretty low in Barbados, 20, maybe 30%. We work our way through St. Lucia tomorrow and Saturday in St. Lucia. Rain chance only 20%, and that is it. Grenada, 20 to 30% chance dealing with some of that dust. 30% chance in the next couple of days. St. Vincent in the Grenadines, 20 to 30% chance holding on from Martinique back through Dominique. A little bit higher today in Dominica. We could have about a 30 to 40% chance of a shower. 40% chance in Guadeloupe today. 30% chance for tomorrow. Just a 20 percent chance today Antigua and Barbuda, 20 uh, to 30 percent chance tomorrow into the upcoming weekend. Rain chance stays small. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, lots of sunshine around. Anguilla and St. Bart, same thing. Rain chance about 30 percent, holding out a 30 percent chance the next couple of days. St. Martin, Seba, and Stacia, 30 percent chance today in Puerto Rico, a 40 percent chance tomorrow, and a 40 percent chance on Saturday. Some of us could get a few showers around. Rain chance pretty low. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, 30 to 40 percent chance as a whole in the Bahamas, but again, northern Bahamas with some of this rain eventually lifting in, that's where the rain chance in a couple days will be higher. Turks and Caicos, rain chance stays on the low side. Northern coast of the Dominican Republic, a better chance of some rain, just a 20, maybe 30% chance of getting a few showers across Haiti. 30 to 40% chance of some scattered showers for us in Belize, 20 to 30% chance in Aruba, Curacao and Bonaire, that rain chance is not too high. May you see a little dust squeaking and let me know in the comments. And you see in Guyana and Suriname, that rain chance the next two days is on the lower side with some of that dust around. But watching that rain that will be lifting its way through Cuba, rain chance tomorrow up to 60%, holding at a 50 to 60% chance Costa Rica and Panama. Nicaragua, 40% chance and a 40% chance right into the weekend 
For us in Honduras, some spots uh, getting some scattered showers, 40 to even 50% chance Guatemala and El Salvador back through Mexico City. We are on the dry side and a 40 to 50% chance right across the Yucatan Peninsula uh, of Mexico favoring the eastern sections. Cozumel, Cancun, we could get a couple showers. Northern Colombia, northern Venezuela, rain chance holding at a seasonal uh, 30% chance and just watching the tail ends of fronts around and some winds around uh, back through Bermuda. So tracking these areas of rain in particular west Eastern and Northern Caribbean. The Saharan dust will start to improve in the Eastern Caribbean in a couple days. In those bigger fronts to the north, the bigger ones coming in January, I showed you that Southern system that will be moving closer once we get our way uh, deeper into next week. So I hope you're doing well. I'll be watching out for you in the comments section. Have a good rest of your day.